Chapter 15, A Reason to Fight. Yes. How could anything be so perfectly, achingly beautiful? It's heaven's light. The light of creation. An earth-born sun, crafted by human hands. A beacon of hope to light the path of mankind. You've done it, Al. Albert Miller, my dearest friend. Your final gift. This great Promethean fire you left behind will change the world! No. No, 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 no. no. I am the one who will change this world as Al's friend. It is my privilege, my right! <laughs> yes, I will be the one to finally grant your wish. Only I ever truly understood you, Al. I was your friend, and so I work in your stead. I will see it done. Before. Is that a letter? <gasps> this handwriting. What did you say this ship's running on? It's running on her. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Angie's just a little girl. What do you mean she's powering the ship? It's not just the Centurion. The Cavalier, the Comet, all the ships were the same. <laughs> Our ship runs on Angie's power. The power of the Valkyria. Valkyria? Yes. The main reactor is fueled by a Valkyria. Each ship was assigned one. On paper, they're civilian contractors. And the one assigned to the Centurion is named Angie. Angelica Farnaby. Wait, uh, hold on. Just what is a Valkyria? I heard they're descendants of the ancient Valkyra, who protected this land a long time ago. I've already been told that the Empire is weaponizing them, and that the Winter Witch is one specialized for combat. But you're saying the Federation has their own Valkyria? Not even as weapons, but as living batteries? That's correct. Angelica has been modified to act as a power source. By exposing herself to Ragnite, she can generate energy far beyond conventional compression. She alone can produce enough energy to power this entire cruiser. That's why the restricted area was so heavily guarded. You're using a human being. You locked a little girl in the reactor of a military ship. Claude, she volunteered for this. She signed a waiver agreeing that she and her life belonged to the military. There's no way that could be legitimate. On the contrary, it's a legally binding contract, just like the one you signed when you enlisted. <sighs> 
was an accident that she left the main reactor and met you all and suffered amnesia at that. But once she remembered her duty, she returned to the main reactor of her own volition. How is this even possible? She and all the others volunteered for this initiative. They're doing whatever they can for their homeland. But both the Cavalier and the Comet are gone. Indeed. The Valkyria's fates are tied to their ships. They knew the risks. The immense propulsion power of the snow cruisers would be unattainable without Valkyrian support. And Operation Cygnus is impossible without these ships. This plan has been in the works for a long time. I knew it. This was already being prepared even before Operation Northern Cross. Correct. The United States of Vinland developed these ships and their tech. They are the hidden orchestrators of Cygnus. This is insane. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Are you going to abandon the mission then? Would you betray your allies just to take the moral high ground? Betray my allies? For every day we move forward on the Crystal Sea, our allies on land are retreating from the Empire. As we speak, the Federation's death toll keeps on growing. Operation Northern Cross is a lost cause. The Cygnus fleet is the only hope we have of ending this war. <laughs> and here we are, two days from the Imperial capital. Three at most, even with combat. Then... You plan on storming the enemy's capital with Angie still hooked up to the main reactor? That's correct. Claude, do you believe the captain will wake up from this? I don't know. I can only hope so. We'll need a decision. Soon. Who else could make that call without being swayed by emotion? Please, Captain. We need you to wake up. That little girl was moving the ship? All this time it was her? <laughs> what is this shit? Is, is this supposed to be a joke? She was smiling. Huh? Angie, she was smiling. She said she had to go back to where she belonged. Then the door closed, and she was locked inside. She was looking at me until the main reactor came on. She was smiling the whole time. You think she wanted this? I think she wanted to save us. And that was the only way. But she's just a goddamn kid! We're using this child as a tool of war? Read this. To my favorite big sis, Riley. First, I want to say I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you what I really am, but I just couldn't. When I got on this ship, I signed a piece of paper. It had a lot of big words. But it said the military would take care of my family after I'm gone. After that, I drank some medicine, and it tasted really bad, and I got really sleepy. And then I was in the Forbidden Sector, and the whole time I was in there, I was dreaming. It was a really scary dream. Lots of people were fighting. They got hurt, and died. 
So when I woke up, and I met all of you, and everyone was so kind to me, I've never felt happier in my life. Even though there's a war going on outside, the ship is like a really big house with a really big family. But I have a family back home, too. There's my papa, and one little sister, and two little brothers. Papa just drinks all day and doesn't go to work. That's why we didn't have any money. But then, men in uniforms came to my village. They told us to take an aptitude test. And that's how I learned I could be a Valkyria. I could be useful. So I made a promise with the soldiers. They'd give Papa money and help my sister and brothers go to school. And in return, I'd go away on this ship. What? To tell you the truth, I really didn't want to do it. I wanted to stay home with my family. But if I didn't help, they told me a lot of happy families would be sad and lots of people might get hurt. They said it was my duty to help, so I decided it was the right thing to do. Duty. But you know what? I actually kind of liked being here. I think I learned something from everybody on the ship. I learned what it means to protect someone you love. And I learned why this war has to end. So I'm going back to the place where I belong. I'm really proud that I could help protect everyone. Thank you, Riley. And... Tell everyone else things, too. Goodbye. Holy shit! What the hell is this? Claude, this operation's over. We're taking Angie and we're getting the hell out of here! If we do that, this ship will stop dead in its tracks. They'd never make it to the Imperial capital. You think I give a shit? What the hell kind of victory is worth killing an innocent girl? Riley, you feel the same way, right? <sighs> oh, come on, Kai. Say something. I think I finally see why my brother left the Federation. Kai... I mean... Forsetti. He knew about this? He always avoided saying anything outright. All he'd tell me is that the Federation had been twisted. Yeah, after seeing this shit, I'd say the same thing. I can't take this. You see what they've done to her? I know. It's unforgivable, but... Kai? In this moment, all I know for sure is that Angie is fighting harder than any of us. <sighs> Angie wants peace. She chose this path herself. She's fighting her own battle, her own war, in the blue fires of that reactor. All we can do for her now is fight at her side. <sighs> An attack! <laughs> Couldn't even give us time to think, huh?
Preparations complete. I'm heading out. Riley, wait. <laughs> you know Ragnite better than anyone, so I need to ask you something. That explosion that came from the Cavalier, was it? Did that explosion come from the main reactor? <laughs> the reactor's energy output is hundreds of times beyond whatever we could achieve through standard compression. But even with that kind of power, I don't know if it would trigger a chain reaction as massive as the one we saw. <clears throat> Look, I'm sure I could give you an answer if I had time to analyze the data. But I'm sorry, I just... I'd really rather not think about all that right now. No, I'm sorry. I was being insensitive. The squad we're up against is probably the one we fought before, led by the black-plated tank. I know you've got a lot on your mind, so for now, let's just focus on winning this battle. Got it. personally request the Ausbruch for this assignment. That massive explosion probably got the top brass panicking. <laughs> Can't blame him. If one of those things went off inside the capital... If it's gotta explode, make it happen on the Crystal Sea, far away from the capital. HQ's orders. So we're the expendable pawns again, huh? Not if I have any say about it. Cremaria's heading for the enemy ship from the other side. We'll distract it from the front, and she'll destroy it. Destroy? If I recall, Belgar and Agent Forsetti seem pretty intent on capturing that ship in one piece. Not happening. We are sinking that thing. Orders be damned. Some things just can't be allowed to exist. Huh? Well, destruction's fine by me. I'm just hoping one of our shots doesn't set the damn thing off, sir. <laughs> no worries. Cremaria's gotten better with her power. She's more stable now. She won't lose control. I'll look after her. Yeah, whatever you say, lover boy. <laughs> Anyway, thanks to HQ's meddling, we're finally out of Doc Belgar's jurisdiction. Once we're done here, I think it's time for us to take a nice, long vacation. To be honest, I was terrified of that Winter Witch when I first saw her. Maybe it's just me, but ever since she met you, she's gotten more approachable, more... human. She's been acting dare I say, cuter. I understand why you'd want to protect her, sir. You might find she's a little too hot for you to handle. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I'm not making a move on her. You've got enough enemies without you trying to kill me, too. Hmm? That silhouette. Lieutenant Colonel Volts, the enemy ship's been sighted. We're moving at full speed to engage. This is it. My soulmate and I get to have one last dance. I will protect the capital. My men, my motherland, and the woman I love. I'll protect them all. It's gone. It stopped.
Say that, beautiful. Side. You want to live. Live so I can keep holding you close. That's the truth. Because you've fallen for me too. So I'm not going anywhere. Unleash that power. Engulf us both in flames. Anything you wish to do. No matter what. I'm right here. You feel the same. I know it. You... you fool. Yeah. But you are in love with a fool. Maria. You 
you're even gorgeous when you're crying. You... you really are a fool. yourself let's see well I see an angel but this doesn't look like heaven I'm guessing we're still alive yes hey that means you got control of your powers nice going lady thanks no I've almost killed you twice now, and you're the only reason I could suppress my powers. I'm just a useless reject after all. You know that's not true. You tried your damnedest. We both did. That's how we got so screwed up. Done good. Leave the rest to Forseti. Let's go home. Home. Yes, let's go home. Together. Captain! Captain Morgan! <clears throat> Captain. Captain Wallace is here to see you, sir. Oh. 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 Hello, Mr. Wallace. I heard you managed to take down the Valkyria. A fine work indeed. Captain. The captain has something important to tell you. Listen carefully. Huh? Captain Claude Wallace. Yes, sir. I hereby grant you full command of Operation Sickness. Uh, captain? What are you... Claude, the captain hasn't finished yet. It's time I told you everything. The secret of this ship. The true purpose of Operation Cygnus. Uh. 